Hi, this is Ryan Phelan. Um, week one blog for the final project we'll be doing this year. So before I talk about what we're actually going to be doing for the um, for the final project, um, I'll just talk about what we planned and how we've changed it. Um, basically, we came back from Easter this week um, and found out that we had a bit less time than we originally thought we would have to do the project. So our initial plan was to create an installation um, based around superpowers um, using interaction, projection mapping um, and various technologies to uh, give a user experience um, of having superpowers so you would interact with nature. Um, after meeting up this week we decided that we would simplify the project a little bit just because we don't have as much time as we thought we would do. Um, so what we've decided to do now is base it around four elements. Um, so earth, water, wind and fire. Um, what we're going to do is um, Benna and Chris are going to team up um, and work together on interaction, projection screens and kind of the, the user experience with interaction side of it. So electronics. Um, and making that work, maybe sound, pure data, I think Ben is looking at, um, and various other technologies. Um, myself and Danny then are going to work on the content side of it, so we'll be doing filming, After Effects, uh, maybe some 3D, and some compositing um, to create the content that the user will see on the projected screens. So we also sat down this week as a group and had a chat about um, different ideas for content that we could put on the, the screens that we're projecting onto. Um, so we've got four elements. Um, for wind, we've thought about doing something with a kite. Um, we've got a few different ideas actually, but um, the kite one is the, the forerunner at the moment. It's, it would be quite nice um, as an abstract thing. Um, just flying around in the air um, and it gives us an opportunity to kind of play with sound. So we met up this week at Greenwich um, to work on two element ideas that we had. Um, the first one was for the earthquake which we're going to work on in week three. Um, we went, basically went up to Greenwich um, Observatory, so on the top of the hill and we took some pictures and some footage of uh, London so it's a really nice um, view, it was a really nice day actually so and what we want to do with that is bring the footage um, whether it be the, the stills or actual live footage into After Effects and, and then play with it so you know destroy some of the buildings um, add some wiggle to give it a, a kind of earthquakey shake um, so, so that the, the user can interact with it um, the other idea, which was the reason we, we headed over to Greenwich, um, was for wind. So um, we had the idea, Ben has a kite, and we had an idea of um, flying the kite as a nice abstract representation for the wind element. Um, so we did that, we went over to Blackheath, um, we had a go, we all had a, had a go of uh, flying the kite, which is a lot of fun. Um, Chris and Danny were filming. Um, the, the actual kite, so they, I mean they've got good cameras so we get some nice footage out of that. I, I brought my camera as well and took some photos um, and some footage so that we could um, show the making of it which is, is nice. So yeah, Benno was um, teaching us how to fly the kite so we had a lot of fun um, playing with that. Um, it was a really nice day, the sun was shining but it was also quite windy, so perfect weather for flying a kite. And we got some really good sound. Chris was recording the sound of the kite coming down as, as it swooped in front of us. Um, and we also um, taped Benna's camera phone to, to the kite, so we got some kind of interesting footage of the kite actually flying um, and looking down at Benna as he's flying it around. So myself and Danny met up this week to work on the wind footage. So we're making a loop, I think, we go in for about five minutes um, and this is just really of the kite um, abstract footage so it's just flying through the sky um, and this will be something that we can we can loop 
um, so that the user, and we, and we kind of estimate that the user will, won't really interact with it for more than maybe five minutes or so, that's probably going to be a long enough time for each person. Um, so the content needs to be that long. Um, so that's week one.